Hi, friends from Arthur International Magazine. We are in Montagnac, France, during the 80 Masters Award celebration. And we are here with one of our awarded artists, master artists, Edgar Francisco Jimenez. Well, I am pleased that this opportunity has come that good. Um, I felt a winner being already one of the 60 uh, artists chosen by the magazine and much more when I got that prize uh, among the those 60 come to the 15 that got the uh, the award about the a trajectory of uh, the artist. Yes. And for me personally, it's a great honor because Edgar Francisco is from Colombia and uh, I'm a native Colombian, so it's, it's double the honor. <laughs> well, and uh, we were born in the northern part of, yep. uh, of Colombia. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you in Cartagena and I was uh, born in one small town called Pijiño del Carmen yes. in Magdalena yes. in the northern part of Colombia. Yes. And can you tell us a little bit about the works that you're presenting? Well, I have two major styles yes. that I've been developing since uh, 1985 or so. I went to study in China traditional Chinese painting and I have studied also calligraphy. So with the calligraphy I came out with one style uh, derived from the calligraphy that I call uh, calligraphic dancers because the, the subject is dance. Mm -hmm. I have developed, I have started to develop that in uh, Beijing and then I continue developing that in Hong Kong. In Beijing, I did it on paper with ink and the brush, the Chinese brush. And then in Hong Kong, I started to use acrylics. And I have been, since then, I have been working uh, that technique. After that, I moved it with my wife Beatrice from Hong Kong to uh, Toronto and in Toronto we have lived 10 years there I have developed a different uh, style mm -hmm. that uh, Enrico Bucci the director of Galleria Bucci in uh, Santiago de Chile called form fragmentation mm -hmm. is that style where you uh, have the mosaic-like mm -hmm. uh, pieces, but it's in acrylic on canvas. Yes. So those are the two uh, major styles that I have been working on. And lately, I have uh, kind of integrated both of them. Yeah, mm -hmm. After s 20 years or so, I am just coming to the the moment where I can work on both of of the, both of them in one piece. Wonderful, and, and it's a great research that you've been doing. Yes, <coughs> yeah. uh, because I I don't want to stick to uh, one finding. Mm -hmm. I want to research always and. I have worked also in different techniques. I work. I went to study in Paris at the Atelier 17 with Master Stanley William Heiter. Uh, this is I study engraving, etching, and color etching. And then I went to Barcelona also. I study uh, lithography. So I have worked lithography. I have worked in drawing, oil painting, uh, Chinese painting with ink, and also the acrylic, which I am doing now. 
Can you tell us what plans you have for 2017? What's coming up? What are you working on? Well, <clears throat> lately I have been working on the subject of the Barranquillas mm -hmm. Carnival. And I will keep w uh, working on that subject. Uh, there are too many things to express about yeah. that carnival. The color, the movement, all the, the joy. And uh, also I am interested in the resilience of uh, that people from the coast, the northern coast of Colombia, uh, that even in uh, suffering, yes. yeah, they show their liveliness, their joy of life. And uh, many of those people don't have much money, but they save just to buy the disguise to enjoy the four days of carnival. So that is an example for, uh, for everybody. Wow, yeah. beautiful, beautiful message. Well, I want to thank you for your time and for your participation and being present here in front with us. Thank you so much. Thanks to you, thanks to Arthur International for choosing me. Uh, well, I didn't submit my name, <laughs> Anna did. So it was a surprise for me. And uh, I am grateful that you have chosen me among the 60 uh, artists and that the jury uh, has chosen me among the 15 awarded. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks, Edgar. Thanks, everybody, for watching. See you soon. If you're an artist and would like to participate in our Art to Heart interviews, feel free to contact me at info at and share your story of inspiration. <laughs>